What's up, what's up? You got the original law. We're coming at y'all with a brief little video. Um, I'm really just checking in, um, letting everybody know I'm okay, making sure that everybody else is okay, and then I'll uh, just cover a couple of topics, and then I'm going to jump off. Uh, as y'all can see, I'm out here in nature, just doing my thing. Um, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do the best I can to get right with the creator, to become as uh, spiritually connected to Mother Nature, uh, as I possibly can. And, you know, I'm just out here and enjoying the day. Um, one of the things that I want to cover is about everybody keeping their head up, man, and, and moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And not letting um, people or certain things slow them down. I already know that a great deal of us um, are struggling with families. Family. Uh, close friends, maybe neighbors you've been living next door to for, you know, 20, 30 years that just can't seem to wake up out of this goddamn slumber that they're in, right? And I know, I understand, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, that's one of the reasons for why I'm making this video. So everybody understand that. I, I get it, man. I understand that, you know, look, your family is fucking stupid, okay? Just fucking accept it, man. Your friends are dumb, Okay. Your next door neighbor, you know, that motherfucker you've been living next door to 10, 20, 30 years or whatever. The motherfucker's just stupid, man. Straight up. You know, and you just have to accept that, man. You can't. What are you going to do about it? Right. For anybody who may take offense to me saying, well, you know, you just got to accept that. That's how people are. Right. For anybody who disagree or take offense to that. What are you going to do? If you take offense to the fact that I'm saying your family and friends are fucking dumb. If you take offense to that, then what are they? You see what I'm saying? What the fuck are they? You're dealing with a bunch of fucking people that are not going to get off their ass and do anything. You know how many times I done had a motherfucker tell me? Well, they'll ask me, but man, so what you doing? What you been doing? And then when I start rattling the shit off that I do, the shit that I'm a part of, the shit that I work on, the accomplishments that I've made, now all of a sudden the motherfucker ain't got nothing to say. Or like one of my homies that's down there 50 years old who's 6'6", he'll say some shit like, but man, people don't even be knowing though, right? But he don't take the time to learn, right? And then, you know, here it is, it's a situation where this same friend that I'm talking to you about, or more so acquaintance, because he's too stupid to be my friend, um, he sells t-shirts, you know, and he's pretty good at it. You know, he, he, has, um, he has a nice little line, um, he's built up a decent little clientele. Um, he does do what he can to try to interact with other corporations like Walmart and places like that to try to attempt to get his store, his shirts and stuff in stores. And I respect him for that. The part that where he lose me at and which makes him a complete fucking idiot is that I try to express to him, hey, bro, you an Aboriginal American, man. You are intentionless to the land that is connected to your goddamn business, bro. That's the reason why I keep bringing it up. And the nigga go all deer in the headlights on me. I even told him, I said, hey, man, you know, I could put you on. And this is before they took down my original channel, my main channel. I had told him, I said, hey, man, you know, I could put you on to some of my subscribers and a couple of other people platforms that I know, you know what I'm saying, to, to see if, you know, you can get some sales from them with the T-shirts, you know, um, you know, but it would be nice if you start making, you know, some sort of indigenous clothing, you know, like like the brother Darkman do when Darkman was selling his T-shirts and stuff. Everything that he was selling in terms of clothing was in regards to being um, um, an Aborigine. You know what I'm saying? So I say, if you know you're willing to do that, you know what I'm saying? You can. Yeah, and, and I told him, I say, you can even have just that little section just specifically for these platforms that I'm talking about. And you can continue to do the other shit that you've been doing. Motherfucker don't want to hear that. Then, you know, he mailed his T-shirts, right, through the post office, through the United States Post Office. I didn't took him to the post office on more than one occasion, so I know that he mailed his T-shirts through the, through the post office. And it's like, bro, you supposed to be mailing that shit for free. He don't even know that. Nor have I made any effort or attempt to tell him since I found out. You think I called him and told him? For what? For what? You know, when you still want to refer to, to, to pale people as crackers, it's like, I can't even fucking talk to you. It's like crackers, nigga, that shit faded out in like the early 80s, mid early to mid 80s. Don't nobody call the, the fucking pale man crackers no more. What is wrong with you? Because he believe in that bullshit that he wallowing in. 
it's no different than anybody else, right? I still haven't told my brother, right? Now, my brother been a mail carrier for the post office for 25 years with two different states. He started out in Illinois and he uh, transferred out to Indiana. Right now, his route is Gary, right? I haven't even told him. I haven't even came to him and be like, bro, what's up with that shit, man? You know, you're supposed to be sending your, your mail through the post office prepay. How come you never told me that? The reason why I ain't came to him like that is because he don't know. I already know he don't know. Because I let him in on some shit about the post office that he didn't know in the past. About putting those two cent stamps at the bottom uh, the le the bottom le uh, right hand corner, front and back of each of your documents, and sign across it, and then put your uh, social security number at the top of the stamp and gold letters without dashes. He didn't know nothing about that shit. And you've been with the fucking post office down there three decades. It's like, God damn, no wonder we're in the situation we're in. I said the same thing about my ex's mother. My ex's mother is a registered nurse. Didn't skip a beat during the pandemic. Worked every motherfucking day. As a matter of fact, they work her like a dog to this day. She make an astronomical amount of motherfucking money per hour. I ain't gonna tell you how much it is. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Straight up. She make an astronomical amount of motherfucking money. And she worked 12 hours a shift too. Her paycheck, let's say she get paid every week, right? Talking about my ex's mother. I know motherfucking well her checks be seven to eight thousand dollars a week. A week. That's how much they pay her. Like I told you, I would if I told you the dollar an hour they pay my ex's mother at that fucking hospital and she a registered nurse, an emergency room registered nurse on top of that. If I told you what they pay that woman per hour, you'd be like, get the fuck out of here. And it's a straight pay. This is regular pay. This ain't once you cross that 40 hour threshold and you know what I'm saying? Because it go up, you gotta give her time and a half at that motherfucker point. Like I said, if she worked five days a week, 12 hours a motherfucking day, I know goddamn well her check be anywhere between seven and nine thousand dollars per week. And she a damn fool. It's like how I told her, I say, listen. You know just as well as I know that when it comes down to the medical industry, the, the money is not, first off, hospitals are for profit. They're not non-profit organizations. They are for profit. Most hospitals, which people don't know, is owned and ran by the government, right? If you take any proceeds from, from the government, they mean they own you. This is one of the reasons for why you shouldn't want to become 501c3. Because when you enter into contract with them like that, that means you got to go according to their rules. The 501c3 is their contract, not yours. Okay, so I tell her mother, I say, you know, in the medical industry, the cure is not, the, the money is not in the cure. The money is in keeping people sick. The money is in, is in pumping motherfuckers up with as many motherfucking drugs as they possibly can for as long as they can before these people die. And then when they die, they cash, they cash in your Sester K Trust, which is worth billions. Billions. Hundreds of millions, if not billions. And they cash that in when you die because your fucking death certificate is a bond. Your death certificate is a bond. Your fucking uh, birth certificate is a fucking bond. And motherfuckers just look at you like you fucking retarded. I tried to talk to her about the whole thing about uh, uh, the symbol for American medicine, which is that scepter with two snakes wrapped around it. It's like, why the fuck would anybody want to make that they symbol for medicine? Why? And then when you research the symbol, it's like, oh, I see why. Now I get it. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm only getting on here to say this because I know depression is a real thing. I know a lot of our people are depressed. I know suicide has went through the roof in regards to our people. Now, if you want to check out like that and let the motherfuckers win, well, then that's on you. But I'm here to make this video to let you know you ain't got to do that, man. Like I told y'all in a previous video, why the fuck should you let them win? Why should you let them get their way? And when you can't answer that fucking question, all of those suicidal thoughts is supposed to leave your goddamn mind. Because at that point, you should understand it don't make any fucking sense. It's just that fucking simple. I'm not finna sit up here and commit suicide and check out and leave my family behind, leave my children behind, and, and, and sit up here and allow the powers that be to win because I killed myself. Now, I ain't gonna never get that depressed. I might fuck you up, but I'm not gonna hurt myself. And that's just the bottom line. And everybody needs to understand that. 
you know, and I'm not about violence. I'm not trying to harm anybody. I'm not, this is not a video to advocate violence. You all know me. I tell you all to defend yourself. If you, if you ain't, if there, if you're not in a position to where you're not legitimately defending yourself, then you shouldn't be harming anybody. Like word up. You shouldn't be doing that. Right now for motherfucker want to come up on you and think it's sweet and do all this dumb shit to you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and think that it's okay to harm you and harm others around you and try to take your life. But well, then, yeah, put that nigga down, man. Y'all know me. I got them bang bangs. I got them. You know what I'm saying? And I got one of the ones they trying to ban. Which ain't going to happen. And that's going to bring me to the next thing. 28 U.S.C. 3002 subsection 15A tells you that the United States is a federal corporation. This is how they're able to trample all over the Constitution. Not because they're a federal corporation, but because the vast majority of people in this country don't know that they are a federal corporation. If they understood that, then that means that they wouldn't realize that a corporation has no governance over you. You are a sovereign when it comes down to the corporations. The corporations cannot cause you harm. They cannot dictate a motherfucking thing to you. But here it is yet, June the 9th of, of, of 2022, which is 666 in, new, in numerology, because even though today is the ninth month, nine is an upside down six. You, we're in the year 2022. Two plus two plus two is six. June is the, is the sixth month, right? So right now, you really... Theoretically, today is the, the 666 day, right? If people understood that they did not have to go along with this shit, you know what I'm saying? That wouldn't be a problem. I've been correcting people on YouTube all day that's been talking about this so-called Supreme Court justice that was supposed to have been attacked or was on the verge of being attacked and all this other shit, right? First off, like I said to you all before, you shouldn't be out there harming any fucking body. Okay, that's first and foremost. Now, if it's self-defense, that's not harm. That's why I keep telling y'all that. It ain't nothing wrong with, the, with, with, with blowing a motherfucker's brains out to defend yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? But if these Supreme Court justices was about justice, then how in the fuck did we get into the situation that we in? And why is it that they lives and the police officers and law enforcement lives seems to be more fucking important than everybody else's life? How is that? How is that? That's because evil is at work. Evil is working overtime. And it's working overtime to keep the veil over the people's eyes. Although that's not going to happen because the more and more as time goes on, the more and more people are going to start to wake up. Look at all the people that's woke up to the whole pandemic. And that bullshit ass clot shot. People are waking up to that. Not everybody, because you can still find motherfuckers that took three, four, and five, and 12 boosters. So I won't say everybody, but a lot of people are waking up to this. You know what I'm saying? One of the ways that you know people are waking up, one of the big deals with them trying to motherfucking ban these bang bangs, right? And put all these type of restrictions on them is because they're saying, well, you know, we need to raise the age limit that a, a motherfucker can buy a pistol from 18 to 21. But then you got people lashing out and saying, well, if you do that, then you got to raise the fucking um, age from 18 to 21 or when you can go into the motherfucking military. You see what I'm saying? And people are talking about that. People are talking about that. And they should have talked about it a long motherfucking time ago when they did it with cigarettes. When they did it with alcohol, they should have been talking about it then. How in the fuck is it okay for me to go halfway around the world and you put a fucking rifle in my hand, the same rifle or pretty close to the same rifle you all are trying to ban? And it's okay for me to go halfway around the world and blow a motherfucker's brains out. But I can't buy a gun on my own soil until I'm 21? Man, look, miss me with that. And like I said, if people had been talking this when they was talking about raising the, the, the age to buy tobacco to 21 and all this other shit, we wouldn't be in the situation that we in. And this is what I'm saying about these Supreme Court justices. Motherfucker was supposed to step in. How can you raise the alcohol, buying alcohol limit from 18 to 21, but it's still okay to go in the military and blow a motherfucker's heads off? How? So how, how righteous are these people? Now, again, going back to what I was saying, I ain't saying you're supposed to harm anybody. You know what I would do when it comes down to Supreme Court justice? Every last one of them. You know what I would do? I would fire their motherfucking ass. 
That's what I would do. I would fire them. And if any motherfuckers, and within my vest investigation, if I discovered that any one of them broke the law, I would throw their ass in court. And you're going to have to answer to the fucking law as to why you were the Supreme Court justice and broke all these laws. The same thing go for these motherfucking um, public officials, whether if it's Joe Biden or whatever. Like, let's think about this for one second. Joe Biden want to ban guns, but his fucking father, I mean, his son is a sniffer. He's a child sniffer. They've accused Joe Biden of being a child sniffer. His son is a child sniffer. And you're going to let a child sniffer ban guns? Man, get the fuck out of here. They ban guns today, and tomorrow Hunter Biden will be in bed with your 11 year old daughter. Word up. With Secret Service motherfuckers standing around him talking to the father like, you bet not do nothing. That's what banning guns do. Look at the nigga up in the, um, Canada, the Trudeau cat. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? You wanna ban all handguns? Nigga, you can miss me with that. I'ma tell you something. I do not recognize and I do not accept a tyrannical government. I'm going to say that one more time. I do not acknowledge, I do not recognize, and I do not rock with a tyrannical fucking government. I said tyrannical people, Mr. CIA man, Mr. Homeland Security man. I said a tyrannical government. I don't give a fuck about government when it's used in this proper persona. Okay? I said a tyrannical government. You going around pushing all this bullshit? Because of population control. That's where all of this transgenderism shit coming from, where they're trying to place it all in the schools and all this other shit. That's where that's coming from. Have you all forgot that if two men are plowing each other and they dookie shoot, they're not having babies? This is the original Lone Wolf, man. That's all I got to say for now, man. Much love to y'all, to be aware, to be alive. And like I told y'all before, there's nothing wrong with you defending yourself. As a matter of fact, you're a fucking hero. Much love.